now once a hive of activity, the airfield at Tangmere played a crucial role in the Battle of Britain and the D-Day assaults. The airfield was home to Spitfire squadrons as well as legendary pilot Douglas Bader. However, the RAF left Tangmere in 1970 and since then the control tower has been left in ruin. Now though, after securing heritage status, the Parish Council, along with the University of Chichester and the nearby Military Museum, have launched a campaign to restore the tower to its former glory. Playing a key role in the Battle of Britain, the airfield at Tangmere was used by the RAF right up until the 70s. And since its closure, the former control tower has fallen into disrepair. And now members of the community have launched a campaign to see the tower restored. This is a very, very special place. Tangmere was... Um, arguably the most important airfield in the Battle of Britain. Um, it, is, it, it has two land speed records attempts from this where we're standing now. Uh, Prince Charles took his first ever flying lesson from RAF Tangmere. Douglas Bader was involved in Tangmere. You know, this, there are, there's history everywhere. Uh, th but this, this is an incredibly important airfield and an incredibly important building. And it's probably the last, or one of the last things left what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to raise awareness of this campaign. I'm trying to get uh, partners to work with us. I'm trying to get sort of educational partners in, involved and part of the process. We've already got the Aviation Museum. Uh, we've got the University of Chichester involved. So what I'd like to do is get other educational partners involved, trying to get a HLF funding bid together. Ultimately, we want to try and put new life into an old decaying building, which means so much to people in this area, in this community. And it's, from 2011, it was a Grade 2 listed building. And then in 2015, we got it on the Heritage at Risk Register, which is a really big, positive step. And that's, that's what we need to build on now. Tangmere was once at the centre of the Allied effort for dominance in the skies. The control tower as we see it now, um, it was started to be built like this in 1943. Before that, it was a, a basically a wooden uh, uh, structure, and it was called a watchtower in those days. Uh, it was really where pilots checked in when they were leaving um, to fly and the return on their way back. Uh, towards D-Day, we were controlling six airfields, um, which had Spitfires and Typhoons, and their role was to soften up the defences uh, on the other side of the channel. So an air traffic control tower is the heart of a, an airfield. It's the most visually recognisable thing with an airfield. It's from this point, of course, that people stood and watched young men going off to war and, in many cases, not, not coming back. So it's a very important airfield and it's, it's terribly sad to see something which is so visually evocative of um, that time and that place um, falling apart in front of our very eyes. Ultimately, the group wants to create a community space that will educate future generations as well as honour those men who served there. The end goal is to have uh, part of a part of the museum offer, maybe in terms of the top aid, the top c control deck, maybe an educational learning space, maybe an archive space, maybe a lecture room where people can learn about all parts of the Second World War and Tangmere's history, and perhaps in the lower floor, maybe uh, maybe some sort of cafe art. They're sort of my ideas, but. Um, it, it, it would be great to just give it a purpose and a use and, and be part of the, of the community. We have a huge educational programme in the museum and the idea of being able to bring the children around here, take them up into the what we often describe as the top tower, but the place where you stand and look out at the airfield. Now. And we would like uh, to help Matt to restore it so that it looks as it would have done towards the end of the war. And then we can teach the children about it, have interactive displays so that they can learn uh, about the history and also the function of the tower. In essence, you know, this was a really special place. This was a really special tower. And, you know, they want it for us. So I think it's about time we want it for them. This is Richard Stringer for That's TV.